Hello friends, I hereby present to you the animated circuit diagram of battery CSL. In this diagram at present you are seeing a 6 volts battery and I will make you understand the working requirements of circuit diagram time to time. Firstly you see that a transistor comes jumping from right and then another transistor comes and then resistance appears on the top. The importance of a transistor is that until current is given on the base, the connector doesn't move towards the emitter and the importance of resistance is that it reduces current because of which voltage also reduces. Where less current is required, the resistance is used. Where direct current is required, the diode is used and when we have to use direct current in place of alternate current i.e. any frequency which is alternative current and is to be converted to direct current half cycle is to be made there we use a diode. Till now you have seen two diodes, second diode is coming, two transistors, one resistance and one battery. Now you can further see third transistor has also come which performs oscillations, other two transistors work as switched. One of the diode is always brought in up down direction because one power transistor produces half positive cycle and second power transistor produces half negative cycle. Now you can see transformer has come in whose primary winding Two power transistors have been connected and in one part of primary winding, low voltage high current has been utilized and second part has been used as oscillator which works on low voltage low current. Other than these in secondary winding high voltage low current will be generated. Now you can see in this, a neon bulb has been connected on secondary winding other than this a condenser and a CSL has also been connected as oscillation takes place. From a 220 V as output is generated and condenser stores that charge in it and gives it to CSL time to time so that CSL gets regular voltage and works as a neon indication from which it reports that in output voltage is coming. On third transistor you can see that a resistance and condenser has been attached which works as a filter so that there is no fluctuation when load is imposed and transistor receives pure DC electrons emitted from battery weight on the switch. As the switch is on. Electrons charge the first condenser so that if there is any fluctuation, it can be set off from the condenser. Resistance has reduced the current and charged the next condenser. In this way, electrons of pure direct current move forward. After filtration, electrons are moving towards transformer. This process shown to you is 1 over 65,000 part of a second. That is why movement of electrons is shown slowly. In reality this circuit will work approximately 65,000 times in a second. Now electrons have reached to transformer and crossing from first winding move towards power transistor. Electrons will wait on both the transistors. As electrons pass from the primary winding, oscillation starts in the oscillation winding from which one frequency generates and goes to the base of third transistor which is low voltage low current in nature. Third transistor boosts the frequency which moves with the help of diode base of further text. Third transistor boosts the frequency which moves with the help of diode to the base of further two transistors where diode convert them into direct current from one diode half negative E cycle cycle goes to base of first transistor and half positive cycle goes to the diode attached to second power. Transistor. As and when half cycle reaches at the base of power transistor. Power transistor starts working as a switch and in that already waiting direct current electrons move forward to the ground and in this way one oscillation completes. High voltage is generated in between this oscillation, in secondary winding of transformer. Here high voltage means 220 volts. Electrons firstly charge the condenser, generated from the secondary winding so that fluctuation can be reduced and CSL glows consistently and smoothly. After charging of condenser, Remaining electrons after glowing the neon ball ground themselves. Other electrons make the CFL glow and condenser time to time helps in glowing so that there is no fluctuation and finally electrons emitted from CFL ground themselves. In this way Quantenau's oscillation takes place and CFL glows consistently. Focus on electrons firstly charge the condenser generated from the secondary winding so that fluctuation can be reduced and CFL glows consistently and smoothly. After charging of condenser, remaining electrons after glowing the neon ball ground themselves. Other electrons make the CFL glow and condenser time to time helps in glowing so that there is no fluctuation and finally electrons emitted from CFL ground themselves. In this way Quantenau's oscillation takes place and CFL glows consistently. This all process take place approximately 1000 times in a second. Thank you.